I see why the enemy tries to keep people from praying and reading the Bible. Because once you read the Bible and God begins to reveal his will for you, you wouldn't want to be no one else. You wouldn't want Beyonce, not Sierra, not Serena, Michael B. Jordan, none of them. You will just want to be you. Life is crazy. Keep on praying. Had an unexpected baby. Keep on praying. My wife is gone. Keep <laughs> hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's a girl chi and today i'm going to teach y'all how to pray i'm going to split this video into three parts i'm going to split this video on the importance of prayer um how prayer changed my life and how to effectively pray and give you guys some tips on how to hear from god and things like that so let's go 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 okay so prayer is essential when following christ Especially if you want to get deeper in your relationship with him, prayer is essential. It's like talking to your best friend. I just learned this like, relearned it like a year ago. I've been a Christian most of my life, but the power of prayer didn't really hit me until last year. Because I felt God was really so many things to me prior to me making that tradition of actually getting to know him at a deeper level. So I was like, okay, what do I do to do that? Let me just tell you right now. In order to form a deeper relationship with God, you're going to have to read your Bible and you're going to have to pray. It's like if you're not doing either of that, you're not getting the food you need for the day. It's like you wouldn't go a whole week starving with no food. It keeps you going your faith and it builds your faith. It says in the Bible to meditate on the word day and night. It also says to pray without ceasing and that the prayers of the righteous are, are, are effective, meaning they work. Let me tell you, if you want to know God's will for your life, you gotta pray. You gotta read the Bible. I see why the enemy tries to keep people from praying and reading the Bible. Because once you read the Bible and God begins to reveal his will for you, you wouldn't want to be no one else. You wouldn't want to be Beyonce, not Sierra, not Serena, Michael B. Jordan, none of them. You will just want to be you. Proverbs 69, it says that we can make our plans, but the Lord will order, will determine our steps. And I can tell you right now that with everything I've been through, where I'm at in my life right now, it's only ordained by God. I cannot, I couldn't tell you how I got here. <laughs> I don't know how I got here. I'm just listening to his voice and obeying. Sometimes it takes multiple tries to actually do what he says, which is a problem that probably a lot of us have. But once you obey and you make it to the other side, let me tell you, no one can tell you nothing. Like his plans are always greater than your plans let me just say that right now and also prayer shows that you depend and trust on him and one thing I used to do was I always used to pray when I needed something or when things were not going right I would just pray I'd be like Lord please if I could just have this one thing but that's not how it works you're calling your mom every once a year and asking her for money am I lying but since we're all quarantining and chilling, and this is a silent time, this is the right time to learn to pray and get to know God again. So, let me tell you, prayer has changed my life. God will begin to speak to you in the certain ways. I'm like, where is all this coming from? How did I get here? How did I get here? He'll just give you peace, joy, everything, even in hard times. I know for me, like, how I know prayer had changed my life is that even though when I was going through certain situations, I was still joyful in the end. I always see the vision that God had showed me, and so it keeps me going. I remember his promises, and it keeps me going. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember. And I pray that I'm upon myself and whoever I'm connected to, whoever is connected to them, and whoever that um, my purpose is going to touch. Once I started incorporating prayer into my life, I wanted to know how to do it the right way. I just don't want to be like, Father God, I just need this and this. Father God, protect everybody. That's not going to cut it out. No. I started looking up a whole bunch of videos and reading a whole bunch of articles and watching a whole bunch of sermons on how to pray because I wanted to know how to do it and do it right because I saw just the craziest things happening. I said, what is... I know I've said this multiple times in the video already, but I was like, what is going on? God will begin to give you revelations. A revelation is a revealed truth. It's always been there, but once 
You begin to pray, God will give you revelation. So he'll show you what has always been there. Now he does it once you begin to deepen your relationship with him. I'm gonna show y'all how to pray, or I'm gonna give you tips on how to pray effectively. And how these these tips are bad. I'm about to sh show you how to change my life. Y'all, this makes me so excited. This is one thing that I love to do, pray, pray. So if, it, if you need prayers, hit me up. So when I first learned how to pray, or relearned how to pray, um, there's a lot of people saying to that the word pray is split into four acronyms into an acronym so p r a y p p standing for praise r standing for repent a standing for acts and then y standing for you so praise would mean like giving god thanks thanking him from who he is reminding him of what he's done thanking him from the now the past the future and everything just thinking is a moment of gratitude so usually if i'm praying i'd be like father god thank you for all you've done thank you for the now i thank you for what you've given me i thank you for the vision you placed inside me i thank you for the everything just thank him next is um repent so repent means to confess your sins and to do a 180. see Repent is different than saying just sorry. Repent is making actual steps to do what, what what's in God's will. We're all human. And so sometimes it can be hard to let go of things. But if you really want God's will for your life, if you really want to want what he wants for you, then you're going to have to do it. It can be hard. I know you're going to take down, you're going to have to take down your pride. Tell him, dang it, I don't want this a part of me anymore. It's so also with repenting, you'll feel convicted. There's a difference between feeling convicted and feeling condemned. So being condemned is like finally having like a heavy guilt on you. Feeling like those, what you've done in the past is always going to stay with the, the enemy is always the one who condemns. God convicts. I know for me, like I was convicted on having um, an attitude. <laughs> yeah, having an attitude. Um, let me just say that. The Holy Spirit was like convicting me and saying, in order for you to follow me, in order for me to give you the message that God has given to me, you're going to have to change this. And it's definitely a work in progress, not like an overnight thing. But the more you get to know Christ, the more he will convict you and the more you will want to change. You will not feel guilty, you will not feel like you're bound to your past. You'll feel like a lightweight, even though it may hurt in the moment, it'll, it'll, it'll pay off in the end because you'll see why he didn't want you to to stay in that relationship or do this so you in prayer I'd be like Lord forgive me for all I've done whether it was knowingly or unknowingly help me to change my ways and then I usually usually it says in the word that he has to hasten his word to perform it so he'll be quick to perform it so you need to tell him back his word or tell him what you need so in that case I would probably be like give me this fruit of your spirit I pray for peace, I pray for a sound mind, I pray against any spirit of anger, of um, pride over my life, just confessing it to him, confessing all that you have. When repenting, just tell him how it is. It's just between you and him, it's not between you and everybody else, it's just you and him during that moment. So just let it all out, just say the truth, he already knows it. Next in the pray acronym is acts. So asking him for the needs of others and the need of yourself, this need for the world, just what you need or what you want from him. I feel like sometimes it goes two ways. Sometimes you're always asking for everybody else that you forget to ask for yourself. And then sometimes you're always asking for yourself that you forget to ask for everybody else. So do both. <laughs> in the world we're in right now, I've just been praying that god helps those in the front line that god brings healing um for your personal life if you need help with confidence finding purpose finding will if you need breakthrough from fear from just things that's holding you down this is the time to just ask him meaning that god will answer you he he will listen to you and stay persistent in your prayer it says that you need to stay you need to be persistent in your prayers until you see what he had given to you so i 
always keep praying I keep praying keep praying for the same things until you see it if you promise it in his word his word always remains the same always always his word always remains the same don't give up trust me you will see it if he said it it will you'll see it and it has to be done and lastly it's yield yield is just surrender everything everything to him and to wait to hear from him so having patience so those are the acronyms for prayer another tip is to have a quiet place so a place where not everyone can just come in and barge and enter just where you can let go or let all another important thing is to set the atmosphere so pray gospel music invite the holy spirit in just set the atmosphere and get your mind right to to communicate with him you can communicate with him in ever, any form you can pray you can pray anywhere about everything but for me i know that in order if i want to really hear from him that i need to be silent and i need to be in a quiet place also Another great tip is to write down your prayers or so having a prayer journal so you remind yourself of why you're doing it. You're, you're, you're able to write down what you think God is saying to you. See, God is not a loud God. He's very quiet. He's not going to yell to the top of his lungs. And what I learned on how to distinguish the voice of God, I just, I'm still learning this, but sometimes you have a thought that you never think you're not really thinking of or something just come out of nowhere i don't know how to explain it just as like a thought that you yourself wouldn't have that's a, a way to put it or sometimes you may feel like chills or like um a nudge um those are just some ways god does not he's not allowed god it's just those are some ways or what i've studied of how to hear from god those are just some tips use it or leave it that's what I mean. but yeah um last i wanted to recommend this book it's called fervent and it's by priscilla schreier and she talks about how to go into your prayers with a plan it's not a joke out here you need to be strategic and you need to be specific with what you want if you need something write it down be specific use his word trust him from there on because you need to be strategic if god is telling you something that you need to be specific of what he's telling you to do. You need to tell it back to him. You need to tell it back to him and saying, is this what you're telling me to do? Is this the road you want me to go in? Just having questions, having a list of things that God, you think God is telling you and asking him, is this what you want me to do and things like that. So yeah, I definitely recommend this book. I will link it down below. Um, I got it off Amazon. Those are just some tips on how to pray um, there's no perfect way to pray customize it and personalize it to you is between you and him hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you have any more questions about how to pray definitely hit me up if you guys haven't already be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in my next video this is